Welcome back, fellow animation enthusiasts, to another exciting episode of The Real. We've scoured both film and television to bring you this list of eight cartoons too weird and wonderful to be forgotten. While some of these hidden gems might not have left their mark on animation history, they've definitely imprinted on anyone lucky enough to have seen them. Before we tackle our list, be sure to like and subscribe to The Real so we can keep making these deep dives into cinema history. And of course, let us know in the comments what topics you'd like to see covered next. And now, without further ado, let's dive in. Number 8, The Chipmunk Adventure. Kicking off our list is The Chipmunk Adventure from 1987. This feature-length film directed by Janice Carmen brings the adorable chipmunks to the big screen three decades after their first appearance in 1958. In this adventurous romp, the chipmunks and the chipettes find themselves unwittingly involved in a diamond smuggling operation hidden under the guise of a hot air balloon race around the world. While a number of the stereotypical depictions have not aged well, the film is beautifully animated with catchy songs and a number of truly thrilling moments. While we can't recommend you watch this one with the kiddos, given the wall-to-wall -wall cultural insensitivities, discerning adults will get a kick out of the globe-trotting adventures. And really, what's wackier than a half dozen singing and dancing anthropomorphic chipmunks? Number 7, Bobby's World. In the 90s, successful stand-up comedians had only three ways to prove they had reached the top. Transition to feature films, lend yourself a self-titled TV sitcom, or create a Saturday morning cartoon loosely based on your life growing up. Howie Mandel chose the third option when he created Bobby's World for Fox Kids. Running from 1990 to 1998, this show follows the adventures of young Bobby Generic. That's generic. <clears throat> Sorry, Bobby Generic, voiced by Howie Mandel himself. Bobby's world features imaginative sequences, a distinctive animation style, lovably quirky characters, and hilarious songs, including the truly wacky Underwater the Fish Don't Stink. Rockin' where the fish don't stink, yeah. Fish don't stink. Underwater the fish don't stink. And the irreverent Is It Love or Is It Gas? The show has the same chaotic energy and undeniable charm as Calvin and Hobbes and paved the way for wackier Nickelodeon cartoons like Rocco's Modern Life and eventually SpongeBob SquarePants. Despite its age, Bobby's World offers a charming blend of comedy, life lessons, and imagination that will truly bring a smile to your face. Oh, Bobby, you're so precious. <laughs> number six, The Raccoons. Our number six entry is The Raccoons, a Canadian animated series that ran from 1985 to 1992. If you had an imaginary Canadian girlfriend that you met at summer camp, this eco-friendly cartoon would have been her favorite TV show. Created by Kevin Gillis, this beloved classic focuses on the adventures of Burt Raccoon and his friends as they protect their peaceful home, the Evergreen Forest, from the greedy industrialist and shockingly pink aardvark, Cyril Sneer. <laughs> by Friday at noon, I'll own every single company that has anything to do with newspapers. <laughs> Despite its distinctly Canadian feel, in fact the raccoons themselves were initially conceived as mascots for the Canadian Broadcasting Company, the show aired in over 150 countries. The heartwarming series is remembered for its catchy theme song, endearing characters, and positive messages about friendship and environmentalism. More than 40 years after its debut, conversations continue about a raccoon's reboot, especially now that the first two seasons have been remastered for streaming. And there's nothing quite as weird in the entire pantheon of Canadian television than the almost naked, save for the blue ascot, hot pink, Cyril Sneer. Out of my way! I've got millions to make! Number 5, The Care Bears Movie. 
Remember those lovable, huggable bears that taught us about love and caring and also happen to be created to sell greeting cards? Well, the Care Bears movie from 1985 stars those empathetic earth signs alongside their cousins in a magical musical adventure that just happens to feature some truly horrifying moments. Look. Oh no. Everything's broken, faded, ruined. Directed by Arna Selznick, this animated feature introduces us to the world of the Care Bears and follows the bears as they journey to Earth to face off against an ancient evil. The scenes featuring the spirit, voiced by the incredible Jackie Burroughs of Road to Avonlea fame, are the stuff of nightmares and likely still haunt the dreams of every 80s kid. It is undeniably wacky that a film targeted to the very youngest cinema goers features such a terrifying character as the spirit who has the power to erase all happiness from a small American town. A world without caring? This doesn't look like the earth you talked about. Despite this, the film grossed almost 23 million at the American box office, making it the most successful animated production outside the Disney market at the time of its release, and Nelvana's highest grossing film for another eight years. And it's great to be in that Care Bear family. In that Care Bear family. Number four, Princess. Despite our family-friendly material leading up to this entry, it's time to send the kiddos out of the room as we head to Denmark for the 2003 animated live-action hybrid, Princess. Princess tells the story of a former priest named August, who just happens to be the brother of the world's most famous porn star. August descends into a dark and violent world as he tries to rescue his niece, Mia, from the clutches of a criminal organization that may just be responsible for his sister's death. Princess is a daring and unconventional animated film that pushes the boundaries of the medium. Its exploration of mature themes, unique visual style, and compelling storytelling make it a thought-provoking and memorable viewing experience that is worth tracking down. Number 3. Fluffy Dogs Now it's time to dig up a true animation rarity that only aired on television once. Fluffy Dogs is a type of distant memory that is just this side of a fever dream. A piece of media hidden away in your subconscious that suddenly pops to the surface when a random stranger at a party vaguely describes the shockingly odd plot. Intended as a pilot for a Disney Channel show, 1986's Fluffy Dogs centers around a group of interdimensional beings who just happen to look like dogs, attempting to get home after they become stranded on Earth. Directed by TV animation king Fred Wolf, this quirky and charming tale failed to find its audience at the time of its release, and the subsequent TV series never materialized. Fluffy Dogs is weird and wacky from start to finish, but is in fact only slightly more bizarre than Disney's other small screen hit, Gummy Bears. Fluffy Dogs still holds a special place in the hearts of those who discovered its whimsical world way back in 86, and a new generation can stream the complete film on YouTube. Number 2 Ninja Scroll. Number two on our list is one of the most influential anime films of all time, sitting alongside Ghost in the Shell and Akira in terms of importance, if not in general popularity. Ninja Scroll is a highly respected anime film, directed by Yoshiaki Kawajiri and released in 1993. It is equal parts wonderful, wacky, and weird as it combines historical elements with supernatural fantasy and political intrigue. Well, perhaps you won't have to go back completely empty-handed, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah! The film follows the skilled ninja Jubei Kibagami as he battles a group of demonic enemies, 
known as the Eight Devils of Kimon. A visually striking and intense film filled with political intrigue in Edo era Japan, Ninja Scroll is a must watch for adult animaniacs or anyone looking for breathtaking fight sequences that will leave you on the edge of your seat. You are difficult to kill, Ninja. Woman, relieve him of his pain. <laughs> Number one, The Last Unicorn. Wrapping up our list is the enchanting fantasy film The Last Unicorn from 1982. Directed by Arthur Rankin Jr. and Jules Bass, this adaptation of Peter S. Beagle's novel brings a magical tale to life with the outstanding voice talents of Mia Farrow, Alan Arkin, Jeff Bridges, Angela Lansbury, and Sir Christopher Lee. The Last Unicorn follows a brave unicorn on her quest to find others of her kind. She finds unlikely companionship in the bumbling wizard Schmendrick and the Lady Molly Gru, and a truly terrifying adversary in the form of the Red Bull. They passed down all the roads long ago, and the Red Bull ran close behind them and covered their footprints. Like the spirit in the Care Bears film, the Red Bull is the stuff of 80s nightmares. But he's got stiff competition in this film from the gaunt King Haggard, the powerful Mommy Fortuna, and the ruthless Harpy. All terrifying creations. Though not a musical in the Disney vein, the film's soundtrack was composed by the renowned Jimmy Webb and features a hauntingly beautiful theme song performed by America. Look and see her, how she sparkles. It's the last unicorn. I'm alive. The Last Unicorn is a timeless masterpiece that combines breathtaking animation, an unforgettable story, and truly memorable characters. And there you have it, folks. Eight cartoons that are truly too weird and wonderful to be forgotten. So grab some popcorn, snuggle up, and let yourself be transported into these whimsical worlds. Don't forget to let us know in the comments below which of these animation classics was your favorite, or if there are any other weird and wonderful cartoons you'd like us to explore in the future. Thanks for watching our video. We'll see you next time on The Real.